Studio Series 86 Slug. With the imminent announcement of the final member of the Dinobots, I think it's time we gave Slug the full custom treatment. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Great to have you here. It's time to get started with a pretty sizable project with Studio Series Slug. And thankfully there's no real hollow sections that we really need to worry about, but we do have some aftermarket pieces that we're gonna add. And of course the biggest set is being this kit by DNA Designs. Not a whole lot of pieces included with this set, but there are some nice items included. Mainly you get a very nice Daniel figure to replace the existing one. And he even comes with a dedicated weapon for himself too, that's awesome. But we are going to set this guy aside for this project. There's also some very nice replacement horns for Triceratops mode. And thankfully there's no hollow sections too, so that's great. However, we do have different plans for horns, so we're actually going to set these aside as well. And lastly, we have the awesome sword. Very nicely sculpted too, and I love the clear red plastic for the blade itself. This is a blade worthy of slug. But that's not all we have. I was able to pick up some additional aftermarket kits from eBay with some good stuff included like yet another sword. Now this one is pretty well sculpted. I like what I'm seeing here, but I think I prefer the overall shape and size of a DNA design version. So we'll be setting this one aside as well. And there's also an additional weapon included. It's a nice design. I think it's supposed to be reminiscent of the G1 toy. I don't think I'll be implementing it for this project, but I'm definitely saving it. And there's also this curious piece. I'm actually not 100% sure where this is supposed to go. I believe it pegs onto the back in robot mode because this thin peg slots right into the weapon. So I'm guessing it's for storage mode. Looks nice, but I don't think I'll be using it as well, which leaves us with the final piece for this set. And this is meant for dynamo to peg into the back of the tail. It gives us a much better looking tip of the tail. So I will definitely be using this. And as for this final set, we have a bag here with various pieces, which are fillers for the bottom of the feet. So that should come in handy. And this piece is rather interesting. It gives us replacement hind feet for dyna mode, and it also adds some sections too. I think so it doesn't look as gappy, so I'm looking forward to implementing this. But lastly, what I'm looking forward to the most are these articulated horns. It has some folding sections at the base of the horns to make them look more accurate in dyna mode. So without a doubt, these are definitely the ones that we're going to use. So with that, we have our work cut out for us. Let's get started.
So the disassembly process went overall pretty well. Once again, the only real issue we had was having a pin in the feed with no exit hole. I would have to drill a hole in the front, but I don't want to mess up that look. But it's not a real big issue when painting, we can just work around it. And I'm definitely glad I was able to split the head open too. That's definitely going to make painting the eyes pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get all the paint stripped.
So we now have, for the most part, the spray painting completed. I still have this piece that connects to the tail, and since this first bump matches with the other, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint this section gold. That should help it blend in with the rest of the tail. Thankfully though, no real major issues with the spray painting. There was a bit of an odd hiccup with the chrome paint. After giving it the clear top coat, some of the chrome just kind of melted away, but after giving it another coat of chrome after that, it came out extremely shiny. And this unpainted section here, I'm still gonna go over with a darker metallic gray. And I also have, for the most part, the legs already assembled and looking pretty good. The aftermarket pieces for the hind legs implement very well. There's just a little bit of color left to add to the leg, and I may add some other color details to the stainless steel as well. But let's go ahead and continue with those finer details.
Man, does it feel good to have another Dinobot completed. And this one was just an absolute cakewalk too. Nothing went wrong. Yeah, that's a lie. We did unfortunately have a little bit of breakage. One of the hinges just behind the shoulder had a slight fracture on it. And during the final transformation, it just really broke off. Thankfully though, it's surrounded by enough plastic to keep the whole thing in place. As with many of my other customs, I'll just have to be careful in transforming him. He's a tough bot though, he can handle it. Also, while I'm very happy with this newest Dinobot sword, it is an extremely tight fit in the hand. And so sure enough, a lot of the red paint has now scraped off of the hilt. I really should have test fitted this better during the painting process, but I can still sand it down and repaint it, so it's definitely fixable. One of the things that really surprised me though was the look of the nylon primer for the softer plastic parts. I didn't think it was going to be clear and for a second I thought I hadn't shaken the can enough but that's really how it's supposed to be and for the most part it worked pretty good. There was no paint scraping off of it until we got to the final transformation. You can see a little bit of the stainless steel paint has come off, exposing the gray plastic underneath. Minor detail though, I can just go over it again. Now what was really impressive were the extra aftermarket parts. They really helped to take this custom to the next level. We can now thankfully have a completed Triceratops tail, and those articulated horns now give us a near perfect bot mode. Now when comparing him to the original, there's some obvious differences. I really did just pick and choose what I like best from both the G1 cartoon and the G1 toy. Having a more traditionally colored helmet and face just fits a lot better for me. And I was going back and forth on making the horns either red or chrome, but the chrome just really pops. But of course, nothing is going to beat having a figure that's fully panel lined and weathered. Really helps to bring out all the little details and give them just a slightly realistic look too. This, I dare say, no longer looks like a toy and he looks great right next to Grimlock. Hey folks, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I probably wouldn't still be doing this without you all. You can of course catch me in all the social medias. Links are sprinkled down below. I'm also live on Twitch Fridays and weekends. Although I did take this past weekend off. I needed to get this done. I really did. But I'll be back on there with some more Zelda action. I think the rest of 2024 is really going to be more Tears of the Kingdom. And if you can't catch me live, I do upload them to my second YouTube channel hobbies with jose gaming and you can support the channel by heading over to the merch store where there's some cool stuff there or you can support for free by liking subscribing and commenting youtube tells me it helps i don't know but if you really want to support i did just soft launch on a certain website so please feel free to take a look i will put out an announcement video real soon but you can support for as low as a dollar or maybe even have a little bit of say into which custom i work on next will i ever do a babers figure i don't know you tell me so check that out but the real big announcement today is that i will be at TFCon Los Angeles this Saturday. So if you happen to be there and you see me, say hello. I'd love to meet you. Right? What did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to meet you. Hey, I might even have a sticker for you too. I honestly can't wait. But as always, I will see you all real soon. Take care, everyone. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, what's next? Hmm. Didn't he come with somebody? Uh, nope, not you.